to Eshe Music TV. I'm your host, Simone Henry, and we provide tips, tools, techniques, and resources to help you grow your music ministry. Today, our topic is graphics as it pertains to your branding and how you are seen by the world. But before we get into our topic for today, we're going to start off today's show with a song by William Tolson called Never Let Go. We'll be right back. Just hold on. 
Welcome back. This is Eshe Music TV. I'm Simone Henry. Today our topic is the importance of good graphics. My, my, uh, the person I'm speaking to today, my interview, is with Kendall King. She is an artist in her own right, and but one of what what I wanted to talk to her about today was what she does with artists in helping them to. Um, to develop their brands and to express their brands through good graphic design. So bef without further ado, let's go to, uh, to the first part of my talk with uh, Kendall King. Thank you so much, Kendall, for joining me today on Eshe Music TV. I am excited to have you here to talk about, um, I guess, branding through graphics and graphic design. Okay. Um, you're an artist, but you're also a very talented graphic artist. And um, so I wanted to kind of pick your brain and give, I forgot to turn on my timer, um, and, <laughs> and give, you know, give my audience some, some tips and, and information about why why it's important to have good design for your project and for i guess for your branding in general right so, so that's my first question for you why is it so important to have good design well first of all i think that um we really um look and kind of bring in visually we when we look at something or when we're attempting to do something or buy something, first, it's some, there's something visually that attracts us to whatever that product is. So it's very important as an artist that you grab your potential listener and potential buyer first visually. Mm -hmm. So that, and, and that's how you grab, before they even hear any of your music, before they hear what kind of music it is and what your style is. They're going to see your project. They're going to see your ad. They're going to see whatever it is that you're posting on Facebook before they even attempt to listen to your music. So oh, wait a minute. So what we're saying here is that Christian people who follow <laughs> Jesus and love everybody, we still judge people by what they look like and, you know, their presentation. Absolutely. That's human nature. It's just human across the board. That's human nature. And um, you really have to think in terms also is that your audience isn't always necessarily the Christian community. Okay. Because um, when you're advertising so what um, here on is websites and when you're advertising in magazines and, um, and on Facebook, everybody like and, that are, that know, are looking at those mediums, they're not necessarily Christian. Okay. So you, you, you really can't board. think of it in terms of what you think and, um, um, you really have the think church is going to like. You have to think in a broader perspective. You have to think about what looks generally, what looks professional. Um, what looks um you want it to look expensive you want it to look like it, you want it to look like you put some time and energy into it mm -hmm. and that has nothing to do with the type of music that that it is so um that has nothing to do whether it's gospel whether it's jazz whether it's r&b whether it's pop mm -hmm. it's all about the look and so i think as gospel artists if we if we remember that and not always think about you know well i want the church to like it Mm -hmm. You know, that's really, in, in my opinion, that's irrelevant. You want it to look good no matter who's looking at it because you want to pull in everybody. Okay. And so I think that's, that's one of the things that we should really, really pay attention to. Okay. Now, in terms of the genre of music, you can, that, that's when you start getting into different styles and, mm -hmm. you know, what type of music you sing. If you sing um, quartet music, that may look maybe a little different than if you sing hip hop, mm -hmm. but it still should look good. It still should look good either it, way. Yes, either uh, way. Yes. Okay. So say I'm an artist. I figured out, I listened to you and I'm like, okay, so I need, I need really good design. Okay. I don't know how to design. I don't know anything about color. Um, what, do, what do I do now? How do I 
find somebody who can do a good design for me? Well, the, I think um, what has worked for me and what uh, my experience is that almost all of my friends are artists. Mm -hmm. um, probably 50, 60% of my friends are artists. So that's where you really want to start. You look at your friends, you see what they're doing. If it's something that you like, then you ask them, okay, what photographer did you use? What graphic designer did you use? What distributor did you, it's the same thing with the music. What audio engineer did you use? You just start asking questions. Okay. Then you get then you get on the internet. You start looking at things that you like. Um, you start looking at things that appeal to you. Mm -hmm. And then that's how you can start to think about, okay, well, I like this. So how can I um, tailor my look to what I like? Okay. And that's really the best way to do it. Word of mouth. Um, I would say all of my clients are word of mouth. It's oh, I've done some work for an artist and either that art, that artist will say, we'll have another friend that says, Oh, you need to go see Kendall mm -hmm. or that a person was, will go to my, you know, my client and say, okay, who did your artwork? Mm -hmm. I want, um, what, what, what's their information? How can I get in touch with them? Okay. So how does, so I find a designer, is it, is it best to have, say, one designer do everything for me, or can I get a designer that does my CD cover and then somebody else do my ad posters for Facebook? You can. I don't suggest that that's a good idea hmm. because what you want is you want consistency. Okay. And um, when you find a designer, now that's not to say you can't, you know, work with anybody else for a, a, a campaign, for one campaign, you want to keep the same look. Okay. So you want it to be consistent and that all goes into branding so that when someone sees um, information about you that it really still has that same look mm -hmm. that, um, you know, and that is consistent for that particular campaign. So if you're, if you're coming out, if you're coming out with a new CD mm -hmm. and um, you do something quick on Facebook, and you use a certain pictures. Well, it's best to use those pictures so that um, throughout that entire campaign or that look, mm -hmm. so that people will, when they see it, they automatically think, oh, that's, that's their single. You don't want them to be confused because end users get confused very easily. Yeah. You know, and uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes you can have different looks. You can have a photo shoot, and, you, and especially with women, you know, we have different hair colors we have different hair styles yeah you know we can yeah. go from natural to long down our back in five minutes right, right. so and but that's great however you want to still be able to, the, the the user to look at it and be able to tell that's you if you change right. your look too much they'll think it's somebody completely different and that's not what you want you want them to when they see it they identify they know that look, that that color scheme, that photo, whatever it is, with you. Okay. And to keep it consistent throughout your campaign. Okay. So we're going to take a break here. And when we come back, we'll talk about what to look for uh, in a graphic designer. Okay. Okay. You're watching... SHA Music TV. I'm your host, Simone Henry, and I hope you are enjoying this interview with Kendall King as much as I am. We're going to take a break right now to listen to one of her songs. This song is called Say So by Kendall King, and we'll be right back.
Yourself. Welcome back. This is Eshe Music TV. I'm Simone Henry. I think I like that song more and more um, as I listen to it. We're going to jump right back into uh, my interview with Kendall King now about uh, the importance of good graphics. And we're going to talk about how how you work with a graphic artist and um, how you even, how you go about approaching one and signing one up to be on your team, to work with you. Okay, and let's jump right back into that now. Okay, we're back with Kendall King and we're talking about the importance of good graphic design for uh, album, campaign, your branding. Um, so I wanted to talk to you, Kendall, about what what should an artist look for? Like when, say, an artist comes and they sit down with you, what questions should they be asking before they hire you? Well, uh, I think that it's just important. I don't know that there are a set of questions that you should really ask your designer. Bas basically, you should have an idea of your designer's style before you start working with them. Okay. So. I, I suggest that you get a um that you look at the work of your designer and see what their style is. Okay. Uh, because and then then you'll know whether or not that you will mesh with that designer. And one of the things that I always tell my clients before we even get started is that the um the success of your campaign starts with your photographs. Okay. So I always encourage uh, my clients have a photo get a have a photo shoot mm -hmm. if you don't have you know the budget for the Roy Coxes and for the, the bigger names still mm. make sure that it's a higher a quality camera mm. taking pictures on your cell phone is not a photo not shoot. Cut it. <laughs> and and really you you would think when you say that you think oh well everybody knows that but I cannot begin to tell you how many people send? Oh, I've seen some. <laughs> send I've photos seen. to me from mm -hmm. off of their cell phones, and you know, I, I, I just, I keep telling them, you have to have a high quality professional photo shoot. It's so important. I, you know, I think I'm good, and I can create miracles sometimes out of you know things that aren't that great. Mm -hmm. But your expectations should be what you give me. If you give me you know, I, I don't want to have to work that hard to make right. it look beautiful. As an yeah. IT person, we always say garbage in, garbage out. Yes. So don't exactly. get the garbage, you're not going to get garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just, it's so important. So um, that is really the key to having a successful design for whatever it is. Oh, okay. And, and so when, um, when someone comes, so basically you should know basically the style of your designer. Mm -hmm. I consider myself to be a less is more designer. Okay. So uh, I work, uh, I don't, I'm not a busy designer. I don't have a lot going on in my designs. Mm -hmm. I kind of pick uh, two or three fonts mm -hmm. and use those consistently. I don't use four or five or six different fonts um, on one project. Mm -hmm. I like to keep it clean so that when the, when you're looking at it, you know, your eye finds a place to focus on. You don't want them to look at it and they're trying to figure, okay, what should I look at? And your, their eyes are darting all over the place. Yeah. To yeah. figure out what's going on. If your right. date, whatever the date of if your event is, they shouldn't have to look down in the corner for the time and, and then up in the left hand corner for the location and then in the, it, everything should be consistent. They should mm -hmm. be able to know, okay, this is where I'm going. This is what time it is. This is what it is. You know, keep it, keep it simple. Keep it, you know, so that's, that's really my um, aesthetic, my design aesthetic. And, um, but some people, they like busy. They like a lot going on. So you just have to decide what you like and like then what works the designer, for you. right. What works for you and what designer will be able to give you what you like. Okay, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for giving us that information. I think I do have one more question. Sure. So what type of budget should an artist come to you with? Well, 
um, let's just say, I can't tell you, it depends on what you want. Okay. Okay, because it, it could depend on whether or not you just want, um, if you're getting CDs pressed, whether you're just doing digital distribution, whether you want a website, mm -hmm. whether you want e-blast, a website. See, so it really depends. Mm -hmm. But what I will say is if you want quality work, you need more than $50. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Okay. <laughs> I think I need to say that again. <laughs> right? and I'm, I'm not being facetious and I'm, I'm basing it on experience. If you want quality work, Absolutely. you need more than $50. All right, now. And you need to be prepared to pay when, when your, the work is done. Yes. Okay, so don't go in thinking you're going to get on a payment plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's another thing because a lot of artists will, will say, um, you know, well, I don't really have a lot of money. Can I pay you now? And pay? Well, you can, I will give you the final files when... I get the final payment mm -hmm. because people get amnesia. Right. So you, when you go into it, don't look for a, a, a deal. This is, it's not, let's make a deal. Right. And a lot of times with church, we are always going in trying to make a deal. Yeah. And it's not, it's a, it's a business. It's a business. And now because I'm a Christian, I'm going to do right by you. Mm -hmm. So that means I'm going to give you excellence. Yes. I'm going to be timely. Right. Whenever I, when I set professionalism in return. Yes. Yes. So if I meet my deadlines and give you what you're asking for, then don't nickel and dime or try to get on the payment plan. And and if you don't really have the budget at that time, then maybe you need to wait. And absolutely. And save absolutely. some money. I was talking to an artist today, and I think one of the biggest things that um that one of the, I guess, the biggest messages that really needs to be driven home to indie artists is that um, when you're, you put up a lot of money to produce the project and make sure that, you know, it's pressed and ready and mixed and mastered and all of that's done, make sure you also are setting aside money for your marketing, which includes right. services right. like yours. Right. You know, your graphic design and, you know, your website and your e-blasts and your posters and all these different things that has to be taken into consideration. Um, and, you know, just making sure that you're, you're coming to, to people and you're, and you're following their rules and their instructions, right? If they want half up front, be prepared to give them half up front and right. less later. If they want a payment plan, be prepared to do that. If they right. say to submit in mp4 format or you know jpeg format or whatever format that they want do that don't try to keep you know going around the rules and do it your own way people have certain ways that they work so honor that so that is that's something extremely important to drive home it is it really is and i i, I encourage artists if you don't know then educate yourself. When yeah. I first started doing this, I didn't know anything. I was a, a church musician and director. That's what I've been doing since I was 12. Mm -hmm. That's all I knew. Well, being an artist is nothing like being a church musician and director. It's completely mm -hmm. different. So I had to learn what, you know, what all the terminology, what it takes, mm -hmm. you know, and then you have to learn that there are some people that will try to get your money and you'll, you'll pay for things you don't necessarily have to pay for. But now if you learn what it takes and what's necessary, then you'll know, no, I'm not going to pay for this. I'll pay for that, but I'm not going to pay. You know, you're able to make wise decisions. Make wise decisions. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And so I just, I encourage everybody, if you don't know anything about graphics, learn the difference between uh, a low resolution 72 uh, the PPI file right. because the, and the difference right. between right. that right. very very different and and a three hundred yeah. PPI file that you have to get printed. Mm -hmm. A lot of people see things on the screen and they think, oh, it looks good on the internet. Well, yeah, then print, print, the print. same when you print it out. No. <laughs> when you print it out, it's different. So yeah. if you don't know, then mm -hmm. ask those questions and Absolutely. remember those things. Stop sending those huge. Uh, files that are low resolution. Right. Because even though it's big, 
it's still a low resolution. Like, oh, I blew it up. Here it is. <laughs> like, no, no, no. You just told me. No. <laughs> so those type of things, just educate yourself and um, be, be open to, um, to learn oh. and to, to um, you know, always, I always go on the premise that there's always something that I can learn. I've been doing this for 30 years. And that every every day there's something yeah. new that I can learn. Absolutely, that's that's my mantra: learning every day. Yes. So thank you so much, Kendall, for being on SJ Music TV and sharing with us your knowledge. Tell us how we can get in contact with you. Well, you can get in t- contact with me I, on my website. It's KendallKing.biz. B-I-Z. I'm also on Facebook. You can look me up at Kendall King music or you can look at k sean music and i'm also on twitter so any one of those uh ways you can get in touch with me okay fantastic thank you so much thank you for having me thank you so much kendall king for being a guest on sha music tv and giving us all that great information about why it's so important to have good graphics for your branding and for just for your imaging and for um, allowing people to see who you really are. You know, once you decide, once you decide what your message is going to be, then your graphics, your, your album covers, your flyers, all of that needs to be, needs to, um, to tell people and to express that to your fans and to, those who you are interested in letting know about your music. So uh, we are going to go out with a song called Runnin' by Chris Cardiac. And remember, if you are interested in more of what we have talked about here today or any of the episodes that we've done, I do consulting and I am giving free half hour consulting um, sessions for you my website you can go and set up a set up a time to speak to me go to eshemusic.com slash mma that's e-c-h-e music.com slash mma and i will be happy to go over whatever is of interest to you at the at this moment whatever you're struggling with to help you come up with a strategy and to take your next step forward all right so we will be back next time so we are going to go out with this great song by chris cardiac and we'll see you next time every problem that i'll be thinking it just keeps sticking i batter it up and it gets way more thicker they told me to pray because the lord is with you but what happens when I feel he isn't with me like I'm on this dark road all alone? No contacts when I look through my phone, I'm paying an evil as shit. Bro, tell Satan I ain't dancing, he trying to catch me in egg. What, you Chris Hansen? <laughs> Please. But I've been on my knees as I pray to the Lord. Satan laughing like, who you doing this for? Tell him get out my face, cause it's death way before. This sound like I got issues that I gotta fight off Cause I'm saving, not soft Don't die a coward cause tomorrow may not come And yesterday I ran, but today I don't really plan to run I boast up in my weakness cause my strength is in the sun Cause I've been on the run my whole life Looking for that love for one night They told me look up love, they're so right Run. I'm scared they get comfy There's twisted people in this world like Hannibal and Bundy People saying guns kill, I wonder what the guns see People only say that cause they always hearing guns speak They, 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 they running all the time like Forrest Gumpy Chopped off my sin like a tree that was stumpy Felt, felt, felt God's power from the sun's heat 
And I felt God's love through the sun's speech Lies about God, that's what the evil ones teach In they heart blood suckers called the evil ones leech I ask you for some heat, you do the most But it is cold, I ask about my cards And you saying I should fold I ask about my next step and you saying I should vote I tried to climb the mountain but you sent me down the slopes Just a conceited hit man Wilding out with a cannon My strength from the sun ain't talking about no tanning Non-stop, non-stop I've been running, running, running non-stop Non-stop, non-stop Running like a goon on the hot block Non-stop, non-stop I've been running, running, running non-stop Non-stop, non-stop Running like a goon on the hot block Cause I've been on the run my whole life Looking for that love for one night You told me look at love, they're so right Thank you for watching SJ Music TV. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you never miss an episode. To receive the free gift mentioned in this episode or to have your song featured, please visit us at tv.shamusic.com.